Okay, I think this is about good enough as I'm going to get this sound going. Um, I guess I want to give you guys a quick update on vacant because I'm doing that. And also, it's like like 4.14 in the morning and I can't really sleep. So, I figured I'd make this video. Maybe it'll help me, like, I don't know, get thoughts out on, on how the game is doing. So, the first two days were doing great. Um, making money, getting views, all that jazz. Third or fourth day, not so much. Sadly, um, got a lot of bad reviews. Well, two bad reviews, which isn't like a lot, but I got two good, two bad, which isn't, this is so great because you don't really want to get 50-50 on your game. So, you know, a mixed reviews looks kind of bad. And no money <laughs> at all. Not because the game is bad. Uh, people seem to like it. I uh, got featured by Steam on the top as adventure games. It got featured. That helped a lot. Thank you, Steam. Uh, Steve? Steam. Uh, however, some guy on Steam decided to post every single character, DLC character from his game, onto the storefront. So it was literally an entire page with just his characters. So that pushed everybody back like a page or two. And a lot of other people did similar things where they just kept posting like individual DLCs. And that pushed the game back even further. So now the game's like pretty far back in the Steam flood. And because of that, it's just not getting anything. Uh, it's not getting great reception on the actual Steam page. Um, like, and, like personally, I've been getting a lot of compliments like through email or Twitter or whatever. But like people who are vocal on Steam, which we all know kind of like Steam is not like all that great of a place to go to if you want to get like honest reviews because... They're unbelievably harsh, and sometimes it's, like, about very small things. So, unfortunately, I didn't really read all the bad reviews because it's... That is a rabbit hole if you start reading that. Um, you'll just start hating yourself forever. So, I didn't really read them completely. I just mostly just read the positive ones. The positive ones were pretty constructive. They were like, this is what I like about the game, and this is what I don't like about the game. So, I learned a lot from the positive ones. Actually, about how to approach my, my future games. The negative ones were probably fair. Uh, it is my first video game, so it's kind of expected. You're, you're not going to make a good first game. So I'm, I'm not really surprised at the negative reviews. It's just very unfortunate. Uh, because I am one person that's working. Only one person. I don't have a team, really. Michelle kind of helps, but she mostly just playtests when she can. So it's like they make these, like... Say, they're like, this is bad, this needs work, and all that, and they're fair reviews, but there's not a whole lot I could do about it. Like, I have exhausted my options with the game. It's beyond my expertise at this point, so it's kind of like I just have to kind of move on almost, and I, and I kind of want to, not that I want to give up on it, I don't want to give up on it, so I care about it a lot, and want to promote it and stuff. But I also kind of also just want to move on just because it was my first game. I learned an immense amount of stuff about it. I am really am glad that I put up the game. I'm very glad that I did now, now that this is all that's happened. Because I don't know any, I don't really know a whole lot about the video game world. Um, the only reason I got to this point was because uh, people liked it so much on Itch.io. It was only supposed to be on Itch.io. I was supposed to make a free game off of Itch.io. It was never supposed to be on Steam, but people seemed to really like it. And I kept improving it and updated it to the point to where, like, most of the glitches were gone. Most of the typos were gone. So I was like, okay, I think it's good enough to go on Steam. So that's the only reason why it never went on Steam is because people voted it to go on Steam. So I was like, oh, hey, people like it. People want to see it all. And I started putting it on. But it was never really intended. And now that it's on there, I'm like, okay, it really was never really intended to go on there. It just isn't to that stage of going on Steam. I think I pushed that baby to its brink. I really pushed it, like I really tried to get it to be as finished and polished as I could, but like I literally, like the game's two years old, when I first started making it, I was not as seasoned as I was now, and I literally just, like I made the most of the assets in Unity, not through DS Max, not in Blender, I made it in Unity, I got, I dragged out that, I created a box in Unity and then made all the buildings that way, I made almost everything with Unity. Uh, because I didn't know any better. And now I look back at my like, well, what the hell is I thinking? The figures were done in Blender, but they are so bad that uh, when I tried to auto-rig it to just put some animations in, because, again, I'm trying to push the envelope on this game, um, it, the, it, 
the auto rigger couldn't even register it as a human being. It was like, error, what the hell? This is just post. I don't know what this is. So that's kind of just to show you like how far I've come from uh, from the game. Especially if you see like the vacant 2 screenshots, which I'm still doing. I'm still doing vacant 2. There's no reason not to do vacant 2. Um, I mean, because people seem to have liked it. It just was like because of my first video game. Um, so people seem to like the idea. They seem to be interested in the idea. So I just need to really fix all this for Vacant 2. Maybe don't use Adventure Creator for, for Vacant 2. Because 90% of the complaints is about Adventure Creator, which is just an asset I use for the game. It made it a lot easier to make the game. But there was heavy limitations with Adventure Creator. And those were 90% of the complaints. Like, most people like the story. Most people like the art. All the stuff I did, they seem to like... But all the stuff they didn't like was all of the Creator stuff that I tried my best with. But I kind of knew it was going to cause problems for people. Like, people were really mad that they couldn't do full screen. I couldn't do full screen because it, the UI would distort. And it would do all this crazy shit. So I couldn't do full screen. I had to have the fixed. Because that was the only way to get to work on most computers. That was the only way. Uh, and some, most people were for, kind of forgiving about that. They understood that, like, the situation. But, yeah, I kind of figured. And also, navigation. I had problems with navigation when I played the game. Michelle had navigation problems when she played the game. Uh, it's significantly better than what it was. If you can't imagine, it was way worse. Uh, the only reason why there was no running in the game is because it would actually break the game. Like, you would get into areas you weren't supposed to get into. It would just break the game. So I had to take out running. Uh, now Adventure Guard has been updated, so now you can actually run properly. So the character can invade it too, runs properly. I made sure of that this time. In, prototype, in the prototype stage, I made sure he could run all over the map. And that he wasn't, you know, there was no problems. So I think the next game will be a lot better. I think a lot of these complaints will not be a complaint anymore in the second game. But I, I still feel bad. I still feel bad because I still did spend two years on it. Uh, so I still feel really bad that it's not quite, like, not everybody's really liking it. And I, feel, I, I feel guilty. I just feel bad, especially since I get all the time in my daily life that I, I get constantly told that I can't do it. I say, oh, I'm going to do this. and no, you can't do that. I want to do this. You can't do that. Uh, this is too much for you. You can't handle all of that. And this that constantly being like, you're you're not quite smart enough to do it. You're not quite... You know, you're not quite talented enough to do it. I get that constantly. So when the game comes out and it's not doing, like, swimmingly well, like, it's, it's doing okay. It's not doing bad. It's doing good for the most part. Uh, but the fact that it's not, like, doing really well and that YouTubers aren't really covering it. Like, some small YouTubers covered it, but other than that, like, no one's really responded. No one's really interested in it. I uh, can't get mad at them for it because, again, it's my first video game, so... Kind of like, I don't know what's going to happen with it. Uh, my expectations were kind of low because it, again, it's like, can you imagine, like, imagine, like, your first drawing or your first painting just being, like, award-winning, like, in the gallery, like, frame. That's not going to happen. This just isn't. Uh, it, so that's kind of what I was thinking with this. I was like, well, I think it's a good product, but, again, I don't imagine my, like, first doodle sketch to be, like, Everyone's going to be playing it. But I don't know. Maybe things will change. Maybe someone will give it a chance and play it. Um, maybe the reviews will turn around. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think it's the first video game. But, I mean, again, if but if you do want to support it, if you want to play the game, because it's going to be a series, going to be Vacant 2. If you want to play the games for Vacant 2 to see how Vacant 2 is going to be like, try it out. It's only $2. It's not that much money. I'm asking for a whole lot. So, I mean, try it out. I mean, honest to God, it really helps if you do. If you don't, just download it. Because some people have been doing cracked versions of the game where you can download it for free. Bunch of dickheads. But, um, but if you do buy it, it really helps. Uh, I'm not just saying that it helps me mentally with doing the second game and just me getting by. I mean, it made, it made pretty good money. I think it did decently. But because of that DLC dude... You know who you are. I lost a lot of money. <laughs> so, whatever. I guess that's the steam, the steam knife. All right. Well, I, I this has run way too long. 
And I, it did make me feel better. So I guess I'm going to try to go to sleep. Or go vacant too and not, not look at vacant and be like, why? Where's the camera? Why? So, whatever. So I'll see you guys uh, on another one of these things, I guess. So an update.